Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty. I'm here with my monthly scrapbook kit build as part of the team over at the CKC group. Let's go ahead and dive in. Every month we have inspiration and this month our inspiration is from Scrapbook Doodle and the kit is called uh, Sweet Life. And this kit is very heavily bow bunny. So we're also gonna take a peek at the rest of this collection in a minute. But here is an overview of the kit. So I'm noticing a lot of yellow and navy right off the bat, some butterflies, and some cut apart, some ribbons. So let's take a deeper look. Here is an expanded view of that kit. Oh, I like this plus sign motif back here. This pattern paper appears to have a pre-printed design in the corner, so it's kind of a pre-layered paper for you. This one has lots of circles. I used to have something like that. I'm not sure if I do anymore. Got some polka dots, uh, some craft going on back here with some florals and edges of butterflies, some aqua and pinks. All right, that gives us a good overview. And here is another close-up of those papers. And yes, indeed, we do have a pre-printed, pre-layered pattern paper and more butterflies. Let's take a closer look at some of the embellishments. We have got some layered flowers. These look like some thick chipboard pieces, enamel dots. Okay, all of that is stuff that I could pull. That's a closer look at the enamel dots. And a closer look at the embellishment pack. So I'm kind of digging these layered butterflies here with the white on craft. I'm not sure I'll go with white on craft, but I like that idea. Actually, this text print butterfly, I especially like. So I'm thinking I may do some vellum on text print butterflies. That's where I think I'm going with that idea. Okay, let's take a look at, oh, let's start at the beginning. Let's take a look at the rest of the Bow Bunny collection. And so here is just an overview of the pattern papers. Now we didn't get all of these in the kit and I don't think the kit showed the B-sides. So I may take some inspiration, like this is a text print on the B-side of that, that navy motif that I liked. So I may take some inspiration from the B-sides. Uh, six by six, a few more embellishments. It looks like there's some kind of ephemera type things with a playing card, some more ribbon. Can't quite see the rest of it. Some journal cards, pocket squares. Uh, that's a, oh, a mini album. This is that ephemera pack that's in the kit. Uh, that looks like some chipboard. Yep, indeed, it says chipboard. Then I've got some aqua stickers, brads, layered chipboard. Yes, it is. <laughs> buttons. I want to remember to pull some buttons. Film sticker. Ooh, I have a film cup, a couple of film pieces in my stash that I, they're the last two of a couple of film pieces that I think I will pull the tuck in here. Okay, so that is a look at the, the, let's go back to it. <laughs> Sweet Life. Sweet Life kit hosted over at Scrapbook Doodle from, I believe, 2015. Yes, I thought I saw the date there somewhere. So let's be inspired by this product and build a kit. All right, the first thing I did was take my bin to my paper files and pulled anything that caught my attention with the motifs that we talked about. So I pulled some florals, some navies, some butterflies. Uh, I found a whole bunch of dots, polka dots. I couldn't find that red circular paper I was looking for, so I went with more dots there, and we'll get to that more as I go. There was also some aqua, and then here you see all those dots. And remember I said the B-sides were inspiring me too, and this stripe was based on one of those B-sides. So as we go through each of these papers, I will put the graphic up in the corner so you can take a look at what I was inspired by. Now it's time to narrow it down. I have technically four of these floral prints here. The navy one I'm pretty sure is going to stay. So of the craft floral print and these other two floral prints I'm looking and trying to decide. I think this simple stories print has some navy in it and some of the other colors that match both that stripe and that funky circular print in the background which I think is also going to stay in this kit. So so far I've decided to keep the craft and the bolder floral. Now that a button paper was inspired by the embellishments, so I want that one to stay in the kit 
even though it's kind of a very different style from those flowers, we'll see where it goes. Next up are these butterflies. I have lots of Simple Stories butterflies, but I have this one here that I've had in my stash for a little while, and I really like the design of it. So I'm gonna set the other butterflies aside, and I will keep this one. And I'm wondering how this button paper is so far is playing with the other papers. And I start putting papers side by side to take a look at them. And this pink polka dot, I decide, doesn't play nicely with the other colors going on in the other papers I've got so far. So I'm going to take a look again side by side with various papers that I have in here. And I'm hoping to find one or two other papers that are going to play nicely together. And I think that black print plays nicely with quite a few things in here. So that one's definitely going to stay. Um, the blue polka dot. Um, plays nicely with a lot of things, so that one's going to stay. And then this funky, I think this is old basic gray, um, polka dot circle pattern plays nicely. And then I do set aside that craft floral, and then I bring it back because really not a lot of stuff is working with it. Although that polka dot looks okay, and that stripe looks okay, so I've decided, yes, I've got at least two things that will play nicely with it. Um, and so I bring it back and leave it there. And now I'm thinking about those buttons again because the color palette is a little bit different. So I'm looking at the overall colors that I've got going on here with uh, kind of peaches, yellows, aquas, and trying to figure out this button print and how it's gonna work in here. So I pull some more stripes. Just a plain black and white stripe will work with a lot of things. And then this bolder stripe had a piece on the other side that I thought I was gonna use at first, but when I flipped it over, I realized, oh, those stripes, those stripes could really work with several things in this kit. So just an addition of a couple of different pieces of paper helps pull the whole kit together and make sense. And then being inspired by the butterflies in the inspiration and the fibers in the inspiration, and the layered flowers in the inspiration, as well as the enamel dots. I also remembered that there were some journaling tags in there. And then I added doilies just because there's a lot of romantic feel to a lot of these papers, so that will play nicely. And then some old basic gray alphabets and those film strips that I mentioned showed up. Now I did forget to add buttons at this point, but I know my button bin is right behind me, so I can grab those when I need them. So that's it for the kit build this month. Here is a look at the pattern papers, as well as all the embellishments I have going on. I hope this inspired you to go to your stash and build your own scrapbook kit and that you'll play along with us. If you do, we'd love to see your work and you can share that with us on Instagram or over in the Facebook group. All of the information for those links are down in the show description so you can check it out there. Thanks for watching and I will see you later this week with some more crafty inspiration.